course, you guys are excited, so are we, as we'll head into our very first matchup, Evil Singapore versus RRQ. Smash them. Now, looking at the lane assignments, it's looking pretty standard for now. Masha is going to be the top side, and Thamo should meet them. Very basic fan. They're trying to make sure, okay, no early invades, no shenanigans like this. And mm. JPL, he just needs to keep control over the wave, put enough harassment in to kind of force them into situations where it's like, okay, you can't go for the rotation, and I won't let you because I have vision. That's right, and uh, now we're looking at Tuturu already clearing out the wave from the bottom side. And both sides are playing it relatively safely. They're not really going in for those aggressive invades that we've already seen them pretty well known for. But speaking of that, for eSports, they're starting things off pretty much on a high tempo over on the top side. Uh, Sin will be facing off against Soul. Oh, look at that first damage. It merely forces some moves, and RQ Sin is forced to pull off that flicker. Yeah, really, really quick. It's it's really interesting what RRQ did here. They basically use Masha as a meat shield so that the tank as well as the mage doesn't take a lot of damage. In response, really well done here. Oh, the rest of the team's actually going on too. Vin is actually in quite a bit of trouble. He's taking quite a lot, but they have to kind of peel back. He's so little too oh, there late. We go. JPL has to pull back quickly. Dashes right on out of there. I am Jago finally responds in time. He is level four. Whoa. Oh dear, Bambi, not gonna catch anybody with a Star Moon fall. They're gonna back away. Oh, they really have to back off. Look at them, they're only level two, and I am Jago's gonna fight back in a little bit more. So possibly you're gonna escape, and he's gonna be forced with that flicker as that bubble almost hits him right up behind him. And now JPL. I really like the name change, so of course it confuses <laughs> a little bit right there. But now, look at the goal standings here. It's only about 200 gold in favor of RRQ. Huh. Looks like uh, looks like there's only one rival in this game. Okay, pretty interesting, pretty interesting. But yeah, I think Soul has done a really good job there controlling that top side, making sure Masha doesn't get too ahead and forcing out battle spells because she isn't managing that health total. That's right, of course. We've seen a lot of arrivals being played out uh, in the previous all matches in the MPL, but now starting off with only one here, it's still gonna be pretty much vital, but we're seeing some challenges inside of the turtle pit here, as this will be first blood in the hands of RRQ, as the guard will be able to take one down. But Liam already on the forefront here, forces the flicker away from Ace, and now JPL has his divine judgment, but what can he do when he's all alone? Yeah, there's just no follow-up right now. He can't really go in. A great catch coming in from the RRQ, especially nailing a priority target like Odir Bambi on that Esmeralda. Nicely done. Like, Odir Bambi definitely disrespected a little walking up there. Oh, yes, indeed. And now we're seeing JPL, of course, uh, just checking on all these brush, making sure that every single one of these corners are going to be checked instead of getting themselves uh, into his trouble. But look at JPL. He oh. was to force the Divine Judgment. That's an easy kill for Evo's SG. Great setup. I mean, I don't know whether whether or not Potato... I think Potato should have been able to land uh, the ultimate there without any issues. But, you know, just in case, yeah. get a Divine Judgment just to add a little bit more salt to the wound. Oh, that's right. And of course, uh, giving the kill over on the Granger is going to be pretty much vital. But look oh. at Vin. He's walking into a trap. But instead... JPL almost get caught as well. Here comes the backup coming from Liam as well. Trying to get in with that hurricane death. PM across the wall, pushing it into his Taturo as well. And this will be yet another kill falling in the hands of Taturo. Great place coming in from RRQ that Evo Esports is in a little bit of trouble. They are giving a little bit too much uh too much space for RRQ to kind of play with here. They're putting themselves very vulnerable. Now, ball oh, no. Yubidon Blast is already put. Ace is in trouble. Ooh. Gets locked down instantaneously. The moment Ayajago has his ultimate, he will go for another kill. Granger goes down too as the rest of RRQ backs away. What a clean dive. Did you just see all three of these ultimates being utilized at the same time? And I just love how RRQ is seizing right now. Oh. And immediately, they secure yet another one. He should not even be anywhere close as JPL will falter. But back into the top lane here, Soul versus Sin. Yeah, he's doing a great job maintaining Masha's life at, you know, that one bar instead of maximum of three, just to make sure that he's always in threat of, for his life. If he walks up too far, he's going to get punished. But That's again, right. RRQ, the rest of the team is doing such a good job. On the opposite side of the map, they took Turtle, taking buffs, and now the big question is, can they break that top and mid? Well, it should be pretty much a, a good rotation to take that one tower down. It shouldn't be too much of a hassle. As we look at the gold grab here, it's slowly, of course, 
heavily favored on RQ, if I must correct myself right there. But yep. Evos Esports looking for a little bit of leeway here to catch out some of the stray members of our RQ. Now, the tour is going to soak in oh. a little bit of that sort of poke, but it shouldn't be too much. Maximum charge already landing on Jiao PL. Of course, a little update on that name, <laughs> but top side, it might just be a flank coming from our RQ. Yeah, they're doing a really good job. RQ is just keeping tabs on exactly where they are, making sure they don't have any options. They go for the initial stun here, switching over to Sin. He has to back away while they invade. I'm not sure whether they stole away the buff, but uh, we're just going to have to wait and see. But Sin, He's just trying to maintain his space, and the rest of Evos is making sure he is at one life bar. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Sin should have no issues at all to deal with two of these members, but when the Divine Judgment hits, it might just spell doom for them. But of course, Vin here will be able to take the second tower for our RQ. Yeah, they make a close call, and I think if I was in Evos position, the rotations coming in from RRQ is pretty quick, so they preemptively sent uh, sent someone else to the top side, making sure they can kind of go for a protect uh, to protect that side of the map. They end up losing mid turret in response, so I guess that might have not been the best play just yet. But they, I mean, Evos Esports SG, they need to find something here. Masha is gonna have a field day with this amount of pressure that RRQ is putting. Oh, that's side. right. But look at Bean though, right? It's back in the middle. Gets pulled with the divine judgment. Of course, this will be that one kill being secured here for the side of Evos. And oh dear Bambi, of course, the captain of Evos is trying to do as much as he can to push themselves ahead with a lead. But it will still be a lead in the hands of RQ for now. Yeah, sacrificing Lolita. Masha just got a free push, breaking tier 2 easily with a single wave. You have to give her respect. Oh, wait, Liam, he's OGPL. going for the arrival. Where is he going? To the top side of the map to kind of defend hmm. it and get a little bit more damage into that turret but uh, I think the rest of the team just wants to keep control over this turtle. Oh yeah, I, I felt like it was an unnecessary arrival if you really <laughs> want to ask me in that sort of sense. We are having a one-on-one -on -one battle inside a jungle here as Sol he goes win. in for the chase and Sin, Sin is just running away and that will be a flicker here committed oh. by Sol, but instead he's gets placed around and now that kill will definitely be in the hands of Sol. Nicely done. I mean, Evo says she realized that, okay, their four is a lot stronger. We can only do so much here. We're not gonna go give Turtle away. We're gonna deal with your other win condition, making sure that, oh no, oh, Jambio no. might be in trouble. He takes a lot of damage from that charge, but they don't capitalize on it just yet. I don't think Gord has his ultimate. He used it earlier in the mid lane, so they don't have that kill pressure anymore. Oh, that's right. And of course, uh, for Evo's Esports, they are just uh, making sure that they stay as a unit over on the mid side as well. And they are just uh, trying to raid inside. And look at Soul. He invaded the wrong territory, and he gets caught out. I, I felt like, that should not happen at all, yep. especially in a world championship uh, sort of phase here where, you know, you are not really facing against mid-tier teams. These yes. are top-tier teams from all over the world, and RRQ will punish them for their mistakes. Exactly. These guys, I mean, again, you mentioned top-tier teams. You cannot disrespect them. Now, I think they're just trying to keep pace with RRQ as of right now. J oh, yeah. oh, so close to dying Ooh. here. The maximum charge? Is it gonna land? Oh, Ooh, almost just short. Land. Just short. My goodness. Oh, that was really close. But now RQ will claim yet another tower on the top side as well, looking for JPL. But there's nothing much that Evos SG can do but to fall back. Now the next aim will possibly be the mid lane as well as we see Vin already on the forefront here. So needs to make a move, but that Lolita is not allowing any members to go past. They need to make something happen here. The play can't be made. Ace can't see to get into the fight without that Numenor boss just completely shutting him off. So they're looking for an opportunity to go in here. Oh, this is a little uh, a little sketchy coming in from Sola as well as uh, as well as Bambi here, but it doesn't look like RQ want to pounce on it just yet. They, they're just kind of waiting for a mistake to be made by Evos first. Yeah, they have absolute control Lord inside of the jungle, and now we're looking at Ben here bringing one of these members to 50%. JPL have to fall back, and here comes Bambi trying to steal the buff away. And of course, Liam here will be eyeing out if whether or not will they be opposite, and if they do. Across the line, that will be a hurricane dance ready to blow, ready to blow them back and towards the territories of RQ. Queen's wings bought by Soul. 
Sin just got his corrosive sight, so there is no running from him, but oh, he wow. will be Look able to solo every objective. Ooh. But a mid fight actually breaks out. You must see Smudge is trying to turn this around, but they can't. They're just locked nice into place. Soul goes down as well. They knew they needed to defend Lord, but oh dear, Bambi, he's kind of chilling out right here. Sin is in trouble. The rest of the team calls it collapses oh. straight on top of him. Let's have a replay one more time. And look at them go. RRQ had the perfect setup. And of course, just a little blink of an eye, we're seeing even the Lord falling in the hands of RRQ. What a clean performance that we're seeing from RRQ so far. And slowly, it might just touch that 10k gold lead mark. Yeah, it's not looking good for Evos SG here. They don't exactly have a lot of playmakers in their sights besides JPL. And right now, right, he's being shut down very hard. Like, he's getting hit by a lot of abilities that should not be landing. This is what I was talking about when we started the trap, and I talked about the side of Evos SG not really having a reliable tank if they do fall in the early phase of the game. And now they're dealing with the same trouble and the Lord is already knocking on their doors, trying to crush the mid lane tower. And RRQ is just waiting for an viable mistake. But look at Jumpiel though, he's in position. He's still waiting. And oh, that Gord! Oh my goodness, they get shot out! Oh, they pull backwards. Good disengage. Good disengage. He still had the flicker, but now they're still going to get the inhibitor turret on the top side of the map. They're playing it slow, but RRQ know that they are in control. They can take one more inhibitor down, and yes, they do. They're breaking everything. They're cl slowly collapsing down onto EVOS SG's economy. That's right, and of course, we have Akai also buying that immortality, which means it's going to be even harder for our the members of EVOS, but look at that go! Vince gonna go in with the numerous blast, casting over onto three members with the flicker as well! Hurricane Dance playing onto the rest of the base, and now RRQ, they're crashing right in, and oh dear Mambi, all those fall now, and look at EVOS members all in the disarray, minutes are still in the front, but RRQ does not even want to make any sort of a mistake at all. Yep, this is a killing blow here. The Death Timers, they're going to be able to respawn. Oh dear Bambi, he survived the last onslaught. Whoa. He needs to clear top side. But again, ben. minions are pushing in. Duturu, he's going to be walking on in. There's nothing they can do. I am Jago does not miss. His aim is true, and he cuts down the rest of the members of EVOS Esports SG. They are looking to end this. Oh, ace. Oh my Oof. goodness, what a clean game one that we're seeing here from Rex, Reagan,